What is the social links identity search engine? In one way or another, everybody leaves traces of their identity on the internet. The SLISC is a service we have developed to help you find such traces and thus make your investigations faster and easier to conduct. The use case scenarios where this can help you out can range from simple background checks to complex criminal investigations. So how does it work? The service essentially allows you to look for key fragments of digital identities such as emails, phone numbers, aliases, social media IDs, and other identifiers. The type of information you can extract from an SLIC entity on the graph depends on the data class indicated in the properties tab. These could be data strings of a different nature depending on the source. This information can then be further enriched by using other transforms available within our product and vice versa, which in most cases will give you a more detailed picture of the subject in question, while offering a wider range for potential pivot points. So now let's look at some real examples. So in this first example, we have an email. And let's run some ISC transforms on it. So we now have uh, four different ISC entities and two other emails with identical names on other domains. Let's do an extraction. We choose SLIC extract entities. And let's enrich those emails. So uh, what do we have now? Some ISC searches have given us three additional emails, a Skype account, this person's GitHub account, and their activity on it, as well as the fact of their presence on Instagram and Weibo and their supposed location in Shanghai, China. So now let's move on to the next graph. Here we have phone, phone numbers, four of them. Let's see if there is something that connects them. Let's try SLIC search. So we now have four ISC entities. Let's choose them and perform an extraction. So in this case, we can see that all of those four people are based in London and work on the London Stock Exchange. And we have four Facebook IDs and let's get the Facebook entities for them as a point for uh, going further in this. So let's go on to the next example. In this case, the initial entity is a social media account. Let's try SLIC search again. Let's perform an extraction.
So this gave us uh, quite a bit of possible fervor points. Let's try extracting the Facebook account and performing yet another IAC search on that. four other entities here and let's extract info from them as well. So in this case, what we managed to get is the general professional information, an email, a phone number, a Foursquare account, as well as accounts on Facebook and LinkedIn, and the supposed location. So let's move then to the next scenario, where we have an IP address. Let's try doing an ISC search. Let's go on to the extraction. So now we have a supposed name and an email. Let's try and search for emails with similar passwords and also try to look for other possible IP addresses tied to this and do a general IAC search. Let's extract. And let's see if the two of those have some social media accounts tied to them. For example, SL ISC get LinkedIn profile and Foursquare. And let's try performing a quick lookup in who is XML on those IP addresses. Or better yet, let's uh, look them up on Shodan. And see if this matches the information about the supposed location of this person according to their social media. So now we can see that uh, there is a match of a name in the ISC entities in the social media accounts and in the email names. And there is also a match in the supposed location. 
So the two IP addresses after a brief uh, lookup on Shodan and the social media accounts, namely Foursquare and LinkedIn here, point to the fact that uh, this person is supposedly based in Santiago, Chile and graduated from a university in that location. So those were our examples for using the social links identity search engine for today. Uh, so that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching and we're going to have more materials soon on uh, specific social media platforms, dark web searches, cryptocurrency and other topics. Please subscribe and uh, we'll see you on our, on our channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Have a nice day.